Hello everyone, it's Salt Rider here and welcome to another video. Today is Tuesday the 1st of June and it's been about three weeks since I've done a video for you. Um, sorry about that. Um, I just needed to take a little bit of a break from YouTube and toys as a whole. Um, I think the last 12 months have been absolutely crazy when it comes to the amount of toys I've bought. And with the world opening up and everything else like that, I kind of had other focuses than, than toys, let's face it. All we could do really um, in the last 12 months was buy toys and, or, or watch videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've made a bit of an effort to sort myself out a bit. I've been hitting the gym. I've lost two and a half stones since Christmas. See, so yeah, I've been picking up a few other non-toy related things. Like I've got myself a, a new jacket. Yeah, a little bit. Almost Jack Slater meets the Terminator. It looks all right though, don't you? Uh, pretty good. Asos style. Um, and it is real leather as well. So yeah, I picked up that. I've bought some other, other boring stuff that you, you won't really care about. But yeah, it, it also made me look at some of the toys I've pre-ordered and... There has been some pre-order purchases during this little bit of a lull period where I haven't been making videos. I pre-ordered the latest Studio 86 wave uh, with Retgar, with the Shark to Connor, and uh, who was the other one? Slug. There we are, a slug. So those three, I've pre-ordered those because those are essential toy purchases uh, for my Transformers collection, especially those leader Dinobots. Um, but I did make a decision to cancel my pre-orders of the Shattered Glass figures. I previously pre-ordered Blur and Megatron. And then when I saw that Starscream, I thought, you know, why am I buying these things? Yes, they look good, but I don't need them. These are figures that I've got multiple times, or at least once, right? Blur, I've got one of. So Siege Megatron, I've got in, what, three, four times? Tetrajet Starscream, yes, I know there's some mould changes and paint, but I've got, I've got two of those. And, and I've pre-ordered the, the Rainmakers as well, that are getting re-released later on in the year. Um, so I decided, you know, I'm going to cancel those. And, and I've really started to look at what I am buying. Um, because I have bought a lot of toys over the last 12 months. And as I say, it, it, it's just because there was nothing else to do. And I do, I am passionate about these. But they kind of get lost when you buy so many. So I've got three items on the way this week. Um, one of them is here now. So I've had a package from Star Action Figures. Bit of a bigger box than I was expecting this one. Now this was a pre-order, but I ended up reordering the item simply because Star Action Figures have changed the website. My old pre-order had my old card details on there. This should have been released before April when it expired. I think I ordered it in October or something daft like that. Um, anyway, uh, payment declined and it was just easy to order a new one, so, so I did that. Um, so yeah, this this is a figure. It's more of a, I don't know how I feel about it. Am I excited about it? I don't know. I think I was back when I pre-ordered it. I'm probably not so now. Um, it does look lovely, actually. It's a Star Wars Black Series figure, and it's the deluxe Gamorrean Guard, or Gamorrean Guard, however you say it. Um, I missed this the first time around because, I, similar to the Emperor, um, I was just getting into Black Series and I, I, I was kind of sticking to Empire Strikes Back. This came out, missed it completely. And I think this has been pre on pre-order since, um, since what, October time, I think. Um, but anyway, as I say, um, I've got him there. He looks all right down there. He, he, I like, he looks a lot better in person. And he's a lot bigger in person um, compared to a lot chunkier. Um, so yeah, I mean, like his original trilogy, I love my original trilogy stuff. Um, I can't remember the last the last Black Series, oh, I can't do, actually, it was the Bad Batch guys. When, you see, I haven't really been paying much attention to my toys of late. Um, but yeah, I picked up this uh, Gamorrean Guard, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have him. It's nice to have a, a toy for the first time in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So I picked up that. Um, nice to have a little figure. Um, now I did the weekend. I did pop to Birmingham because um, I've start. I started a new job three months ago, and I wanted to get used to going into Birmingham as things were opening up and everything like that. Definitely when we're driving into Birmingham, that's for certain. Um, but I did have a look around Birmingham, and I was kind of expecting to pick up something from Forbidden Planet. And they had, they had a lot of stuff, but nothing I was interested in. Like they had Wave One of the Joes. They had a load of Transformer stuff. They did have the Reflector um, three pack, the toy accurate colours. 
and I was really tempted by it, but it was 70 quid, and I, I just couldn't justify 70 quid on a set of figures, when I've already spent, what, 60 quid on the, the three versions I've got there, that are there. Um, so I passed on it, and I didn't actually pick up anything, um, I was quite restrained, there was a scout trooper from Jedi Fallen Order, which I could have picked up, but I decided not to, uh, there was one of the Reaction Star screen figures and Bumblebee figures reduced to 12 quid. I passed on those. And this is what I mean. I'm being a little bit more conservative now with what I'm buying. That said, I, as, as I say, I have got a couple of other figures on the way this week. So today is Thursday the 3rd of June and I've got some parcels. Uh, these were the other couple of things I spoke about earlier on in the video that I was expecting. Uh, one of them from uh, Exilian XLR or Brad as I like to call him. And one package from Comics and Cocktails that was influenced by Junkie Dave. Uh, and while I'm on the subject of Junkie Dave, Dave's got his album out. I think it's called Junkie Dave 3. And he's also got the amazing Smokescreen single. Both of those are on Spotify now. And if you check out who the uh, who the writers were of uh, that Smokescreen song, you'll see I collaborated on that, which is really, really cool. I haven't got really a musical bone in my body, so uh, it, it was a cool achievement uh, to be involved in that and to write a few lyrics, which was pretty cool. So yeah, um, I'll put a link to, to Junkie Dave's Smokescreen video below, because if you haven't seen it, it's awesome. Um, and it is from Geo Joe Classified, and it is... Oh, Major Blood. I get some real old snake vibes from this figure. Real old um like Metal Gear Solid kind of kind of look from it. With the eye patch and I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, I know this figure is hard to get and it, it basically costs a fortune on eBay to pick up one of these. Look at that artwork, isn't that lovely? Uh, costs a fortune to pick up one of these. I love that revolver. That's amazing. Again, I'm getting Metal Gear voice because I revolve Ross a lot. Uh, this looks awesome. Um, probably the best looking uh, figure in this line so far. Especially that face. Awesome. Awesome. I've picked up a few bad guys like that. Oh, I've picked up um, Firefly and I've picked up Zartan. Um, so I've been picking up a few Cobra guys, and you know what? I think Major Blood probably looks the best out of the lot. So cheers, Brad. I know you could have sold that for a lot more money than you sold me. You sold it for cost, so you know what? What a top lad. What an amazing bloke. So thank you for that. And the second box from Comedy Cocktails is um, a figure that... Well, I didn't pre-order it, um, and I wasn't intending to buy it until Junkie Dave said it was good. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick it up and mine as well. It's another G.I. Joe figure. This time, it's one of the Joes. And it's Flint. Um, now, I still, looking at this figure, I still have the same reservations that I had before I bought it. Is I think the face looks quite fortnite -y. It looks like a Fortnite figure. But then again... That's because of the jaws exaggerating and, and maybe as soon as I put the bear, bear out on him, he'll look all right. More realistic weapons with this one, a shotgun and uh, a pistol. Um, but yeah, if you compare, and I'm not being critical, if you compare the realism of Major Blood over here compared to the, the cartoony aesthetic of Flint, they look like they're from different lines. They really, really do. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not dissing this thing. I think it looks all right. Um, but I was going to pass on this one and Lady Jane. And, and I still have passed on Lady Jane. I think with some figures, it would be nice to pick them up in person if I ever find a shop where you can pick these up in person. Um, but you know what? I picked up Flint. He's all right. Um, and he can help fill out the Joes on my shelf, which is getting more crap now. Um, and that, I think, is it for my toy purchases this week. Now, we've shot forward in time a bit after I picked up those figures. Today's the 12th of June. Um, and I've been around my local area, Aldridge, where there's a load of charity shops. And uh, I've got a little bit of a charity shop haul. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to make it to the boot tomorrow for the first time this year. I might, I might go and push the boat out and head over there. Um, but I have picked up a couple of cool things. Um, yeah, so first up is uh, this little robot hey i don't know if it's vintage or not uh, but it, it transforms into a letter 
Um, which I picked up because my son's called Oliver, so you know what, I, I thought I'd get that for, for him to muck about with. Um, but yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, I found a Gambit figure. Um, now let me remember how to do this. Yep, like that. So he's allegedly throwing the cards. It's a McDonald's toy uh, from 1990. Oh no, sorry, a Burger King toy from 1996. Um, cool little thing. Um, none of these were a lot, by the way. Uh, speaking of McDonald's toys, I also picked up this Attack Pack. I've only ever seen one more of these, and I, I picked up that from, I think it was the same charity shop. Um, but yeah, this is from Mackey's. It's about 19... I don't know, it's about 1994, maybe. Um, but yeah, an Attack Pack. Quite cool. Uh, I also picked up this, and I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely awesome. It's some kind of vintage knockoff toy Robocop. I think he was a parachuter, and uh, his eyes light up. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, uh, but you know what? I thought it was a cool thing, nevertheless. Um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty cool. And uh, I also found this, and there was another one there, and I didn't realise it was from the same set, so I, I missed on it. But I picked up this one because I recognised the logo on it. It's a Micro Machine Stealth Bomber, but it's G.I. Joe. Um, never even knew these existed, to be honest. There was like a, a, a tank, um, a tank little um, vehicle as well, which feels like a Micro Machine. If you remember the Micro Machine plastic, um, this definitely was a micro machine well it is a micro machine 1994 a lot of stuff from 1994 maybe this is a junker box at some, this was all from the same shop by the way uh, maybe it was just a junker box that someone's someone's thrown away or something from the kids or whatever but yeah um, I saw this and I thought you know what I might as well pick it up a little cool piece of G.I. Joe merchandise now I did find a transformer I found Beast Wars Snarl, um, which was really cool. But what wasn't cool is he's missing a leg. <laughs> so uh, he's one of the more common Beast Wars figures. Uh, and I really do want... Uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a project, isn't it? I'm going to keep an eye out and I'm going to try and find the part for him, whether it be in a junk a lot on eBay or another car boot or charity shop or whatever it might be. But, um, yeah, I, I picked up him. Um, Pretty, pretty cool to find a vintage Transformer, vintage Beast Wars figure. He turns into a, um, I don't know what he is, like a kind, I don't know if he's a squirrel or a mouse or whatever it might be. Um, I'll give you a view of what he looks like. So that that's the kind of the look that he has in, in alt mode, but obviously he's missing half his head because his head's on the foot. And I think he's missing a big bushy tail, I don't know if he's a kind of squirrel or... Or whatever it might be, um, but yeah, it was still cool to pick up a, a vintage, vintage Transformers related figure. So that was pretty, pretty good as well. So I did make it to the car boot today. Is Sunday the thirteenth of June, and a uh, bit of a funny one really. It's the first time I've been to the the car boot this year. Me and my son went up there, have a little look round, and we we did one lap and found absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, and we went back round, and then we ended up with a load of, well, he ended up with a load of stuff. He got some Skylanders, which is crazy for at the moment, this racing supercharger thing, some sealed in the box um, for like eight quid, which was quite a lot for a car boot. But this particular set is going for £85 on eBay, so, I mean, I'm not going to sell them on, obviously there is, but you know what I mean, it, it, it's pretty pretty cool to find something quite, quite uh, rare at a car boot. Um he also had some cars, figures, some little fish, a cuddly toy, all of this stuff. One thing he did pick up for himself, and he picked this himself, he found a, a little heatwave figure. Um, this is obviously from Rescue Box. It's like a one-step changer. Uh, I think that was like a pound-ish, I think. It was from the same guy who sold him the Skylanders. Uh, but yeah, so that is pretty cool. Um, so we found that. Now, the guy who we bought the Skylanders off, we bought a couple of things. Um, the Skylanders, heatwave... And some other bits, and it come to ten pound fifty, and I said, "Oh, will you take a tenner for it?" And he went, "Oh no, uh, ten pound fifty. And I went, "All right." Then he went, "Oh, I've got no change." Uh, I gave him eleven quid, and he was like, oh, "I've got no change. You're gonna take a hit." And I was like, "No, I'll just pick up something else." And I saw this little uh, more bot from Rescue Bots. I realised, uh, recognised, sorry, the the head. Um, so I picked up that as well. I thought, "Well, I'm not gonna be generous to you if you weren't that generous to us." But then again, he did sell us 
85 quid's worth of Skylanders for 8 quid, so I can't really moan too much about it. Now, my little find of the day is vintage. But it's not the vintage... It's not the old, old vintage, like uh, G1 stuff. It's something from 20 years ago. It's a GoBot from 20 years ago. Not your normal GoBots. But one of these uh, GoBot Transformers from 2001. So this is 20 years old. Um... Now, I'm not one for picking up really like the kiddie cot type stuff. I mean, I know that Heatwave is pretty cool here, but Oliver's going to have that. But this is like 20 years old. I mean, I saw it. I recognise the, the G symbol at the front. Now, it does transform. It took me a while to work out how to actually get the head up on it, but you need to you need to rotate. Yeah, and you've got this little, this little chap. Pretty cool. Not in bad nick. Got a bit of paint, a bit of marker pen on the... On the um, on the paint on the front, a few marks here and there, but all in all, for a twenty odd year old toy, not too bad. I mean, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it. it. It's just a cool thing to find. I don't actually remember seeing these at all in the shop, but then again, I was like, what? In two thousand two thousand one, I was sixteen, seventeen, something like that. I think In about sixteen, seventeen. So, um, yeah, these probably pass me by. Um, but nevertheless, it's quite a cool little find for a quid at a car boot. Um, so, yeah, I am happy that I found something anyway. Well, because I thought I was going to walk away with nothing. Um, so I think I'm going to keep that in a little more bot for me. So there you go. Um, that's it. I suppose this hasn't been a week in toys. This has more like been a... An update on the channel, really. Update on what I've been doing for the last month. Um, as I say, I'll try and put out more videos now. But uh, I haven't really got that many toys planned uh, to come. Um, I've got pre-orders for um, some Kingdom stuff and some Studio Series 86 stuff, as I said previously. Um, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks' time, which, which I might pick up a few things here and there. Um, but as I've said before, I, th I think that last year there was... The only thing we could do was toy collecting, and and now I've I've become I've picked up a few other hobbies. I'm going to the gym like three four times a week. I've lost a bit of weight. I bought some new glasses. I bought a new jacket, and all of this kind of stuff. So um, yeah, I think toys, even though it will still remain my focus moving forward, and I'll still do we try and do these weekly videos um, after the little break I've just had. Uh, but I don't think I'll be buying the stuff in the numbers that I was buying last year. Anyway. Until next time, I've been Zoltrider and I'll catch you again really, really soon.